Hello, my name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. If you caught last week's episode, we were exploring the Big South Fork Recreation Area and just barely getting into the Daniel Boone National Forest before I retreated to civilization and a KOA campground for a long-awaited shower and some much-needed laundry. This week's episode, we're getting back out of civilization and exploring more of the Daniel Boone National Forest. Unfortunately, things don't quite go to plan, and we had to take kind of a drastic measure to find a place to sleep for the night, but eh, that's the way it goes. Hope you enjoy the episode. Let's hit the trails. Hello, and welcome to Poor Decisions and Bad Timetables. I mean, Overland Calling. It's 4.30, and we've decided to go explore the Daniel Boone National Forest. Currently tooling around, looking to get my way on something that looks like a little bit of a two track. See what we got in store for us. Right now, to along on just barely a road. And here we are at 1696, whatever the heck that is. But it looks cool, so we're gonna go explore it. Not only is it a camera stop, but it's great for wood gathering. I will say that YouTubing has done wonders for my on-trail wood collecting. Because it seems like I'm always stopping. And that gives me plenty of opportunity to pick up spare wood along the way. Because a lot of times at campsites, I mean, you just don't, they see so many people picking up wood, there's not a lot of deadfall around. But quite often on the trail, you'll see all sorts of good stuff. Let's get back on the trail because it's getting late. I know, story of my life. Well, the trees aren't coming back to life yet, but that's okay. We seem to have the roads pretty much to ourselves, and I'm all done with laundry and showering, so now it's time to get back on the trail. Well, that hot shower did feel nice. I was uh, laying there last night just missing the solace of being alone. Instead of a stream in the background, I was listening to the interstate noise. Eh, I think I'll skip that. So I'm just exploring little, what appear to be dead end roads here and seeing if maybe I can luck into a, a nice, uh, nice camping spot. There's a lot to be said for actually planning a route and all that good stuff. I just, I just can't bring myself to do it. It doesn't really seem like I'm exploring. Then it just seems like I'm following an itinerary. And Zeus is no help. He's not a good planner at all. If it doesn't involve food, it's not worked into his schedule. Oh yeah, yeah, you know that word, don't you, buddy? Buddy, you see any camping spots? I'm looking at the trees. I hope you're driving. Well, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. Oh, look at all this great firewood. Tell ya, nothing else 
YouTube is going to make sure I have good fires every night. Man, that is a nice little rock formation. Heck yeah, pretty. This is a pretty long road. So far, I can't figure out any purpose for it. Plus, I mean, maybe it's just fire control. Been no camping spots on it. I'm just about to the end. I'm hoping they saved it all up for one big epic camping spot. I mean, if nothing else, you know, I got to cross a tree. That's pretty cool. We are at the spot on the map where it turns into a dotted line trail. And it definitely looks like it's turning into a dotted line trail. Goes from a two-track-ish type thing to a, yeah, maybe something a little bit more interesting. So of course, we're gonna go check it out because that's what you do at uh, 5.15 in the afternoon. Oh, that's not bad enough for four low. Darn, I got all worked up for nothing. Oh, and now we know the reason for this road. It's not an epic camping spot. It's a non-operational oil well. Well, it does go down a little bit farther. You know what? I'm gonna check it out. I already went all the way down here. It's probably yet another oil well, but you know what? We're gonna check it out. I wouldn't wanna see in the comments like, oh man, you missed the most epic spot ever. Definitely got a decent amount of mud. A little fine. Ooh, bonk. We'll just push that right on out. Like it never happened. There we go. Look, rearview mirror fixed. If you're enjoying this content, please do me a favor and hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider it. I'd love to have you as a member of the channel. We definitely found a little uphill section here. Please, oh please, be an epic campsite. Oh, I can't see over my hood. What's out there? Wow. That's a big long downhill. Yeah, not gonna happen. I was hoping that this was just a quick little side shoot to a camping spot, but not so much. Looks like it's a trail that's not on the map. And I don't feel like going down trails that uh, maybe I'm not supposed to be on. Quick trips to a campsite. All right, that's that's legal. Traipsing up into the woods on stuff that's not mapped out. Nope, not so much. So we're gonna turn around. There's some Zeus cam. Zeus, what do you think, buddy? Turn the AC back on for you? Yeah, you digging that? Okay. All right. What? 
see what we got here. No, this isn't sketchy at all. Just gonna use first gear to slow my descent. Hey, what's that behind me? Most likely sky. Oh yeah, going down a little sideways. some stinky mud. We are gonna truck it back down this road, get back to civilization, and try the next trail for a spot to camp. We are back on blacktop, for better or for worse. Just kind of taking a one and a half wide road. I definitely wouldn't call it a main thoroughfare though. Trying to look for some offshoots on the map that might just lead into something a little more interesting. There's a lot of beautiful scenery around here though. So I mean, all in all, it's not a total loss. As long as I find a place to camp for the night. It did just turn into a uh, dirt road again. I'm really not feeling a roadside rest area. Tried trails off road, tried dirt, and they don't show anything in this area. So I'm left with exploring the unknown frontier. Welcome to yet another episode of It's Getting Dark and Brian Has No Plan. Well, we're not having Jack for luck on camping spots, but this is a very pretty road. And it goes along the creek. I think that's what they call streams here in this part of the woods. I don't know if we'll manage the epic camping site, but we're gonna have a heck of a time trying. Ooh. Where does that little road go? That is a little dotted line that says it goes to Jim Cove hollow. Well, heck, I'm going to give it a shot. Well, this is pretty tight in here, that's for sure. Oh, we've got another little water crossing. Isn't that sweet? Oh, pretty. I'll tell you what, this road is beautiful. Would be a little nicer if it was in season. Trees were here. But I'll take what I can get. Definitely looking at pinstriping. Well, I think the trail for me has come to an end. I could probably make it, but man, would it be cutting close to that section that's fallen in. Plus, I got another tree over there I'd have to worry about for overhead. And I don't really want to be upside down in that pretty stream there. So I think it is time to say goodbye to the hollow.
Well, I think not doing any research on the area is gonna beat me this time. I don't have super high hopes of finding a camping site here. I'm on my third or fourth offshoot. And I really thought this was gonna be it. And there's nothing in the way of camping. There's a couple places you could probably camp, but I wouldn't really call them camping spots. Lots of pinstriping. Here we are, that first creek crossing again. After striking out on multiple occasions, I finally resorted to uh, using the dirt, get myself over to the Jefferson National Forest. Welcome to Virginia. Cheers. It's now 12.30 at night. Uh, good news is camp's mostly set up. It's gonna be a pretty dry camp. I don't really, uh, I don't have my desk or anything like that set up because I have no internet at this site. So no cell reception. And even if I had Starlink, there wouldn't be a hope of getting a signal. I'm kinda down in a little valley, covered with trees. Uh, good news though, is that there is a stream running right in the background. Bad news is, I'm right by the road. Um, got a little separation, a couple trees between me and the road, but not too much. Um, however, it doesn't seem to be a lot of traffic at 12.30 at night. I'm gonna roll out my bedroll and rack out. I will see you in the morning. Stay tuned next week as we explore more of the southern part of the Jefferson National Forest. Trip ended up getting kind of cut short due to a catastrophic failure, but man, did we have a good time till that happened. Till next time, enjoy the ride.